Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks Please only listen when you can Safely close your eyes. Please subscribe. You may find the best way to listen to this is with headphones, as it is quite fairly quiet. There will be two versions of this. One with, one without music. And the music, the background music on this recording um, will be provided by Kevin McLeod. Open source uh, music. And if you'd like to support this free service help with the running costs please go to paypal.me forward slash jason newland the links on the website on the main banner so hope you're well hope you're hope you're able to relax to give yourself some space bit of time to let go and you may be well if you're listening to this on the date of its actual recording which is August the 10th 2020 of course you might be listening in 30 years time or tomorrow but you're listening now you may like I am be having some quite hot weather so hopefully you can find somewhere a bit cool My stomach's just made a weird noise. <laughs> it does that sometimes. I was actually lying in bed a few hours ago and I thought my stomach was making the weirdest noise. Honestly, I thought, oh, that's strange. And I just realised it was my neighbours watching television. True story. So, I'm going to ask you to get yourself into a comfortable position. Ideally, it depends if you're listening to this to relax or if you're listening to fall asleep because this is going to be for both those purposes if it's just to relax then I would say maybe sit in a comfortable chair that supports your body that has armrests um, if you're going to sleep then I would say lay down on your, on your bed. Of course you can lay down on your bed for the relaxation. But my suggestion would be to set your alarm. Any events that you might fall asleep. 
through nothing else but just maybe a bit of boredom or a lot of boredom or the fact that your mind starts to drift because you feel safe you feel comfortable you feel well, you feel more relaxed which in itself is a nice thing especially if you're listening to this recording in order to feel more relaxed because there's something about Taking some time for yourself away from everything else, away from other people, away from problems, uh, away from well, as well, the, you know, the good stuff, or well, away from the excitement, away from enjoyment, away from people, away from television, away from the internet, away from your phone, or your laptop, or your tablet. And even though all that stuff might be in the next room, or it might be the other side of this room, it's there. You're away from it. You're in your own safe space. And you've got your eyes closed and you're listening to me. It's a different place. It's a place you can feel comfortable and calm as well as having that security within you to know that even though you may Start to let everything go. Let everything go. You know that the important stuff will still be there when you wake up or when you decide to open your eyes. Which means you don't need to think about it now. Doesn't require your attention. Just in the same way that when you lie down on your bed, you don't have to focus on the bed in order for it to be there. You drift away, you fall asleep, you dream about all kinds of things and I bet that very very few of your dreams have anything to do with your bed maybe some of the nicer ones possibly but generally the bed is forgotten You let go of the bed completely out of your mind.
yet the bed is still there, supporting you. And when you start to realise that actually you don't need to think about something all the time in order to solve it. You don't need to think about something all the time, ever. And I know that there are sometimes things that we actually want to think about. Yet you can still take a break and let that go. Because that will still be there when you wake up, when you decide to open your eyes. And from a reality perspective, I can lay down on the bed, close my eyes, and before I lie down on the bed, I might be worried about the, the electricity bill, electricity and gas bill. The thinking about it when I'm lying on my bed is going to be of absolute zero use to me. It's not going to pay the bill. It's not going to be conducted to a nice relaxing sleep and feeling relaxed or thinking about the bill is the opposite to feeling relaxed perhaps as of course thinking about bills relaxes you So, when I close my eyes, not only do the things around me disappear from a vision perspective, so visually there's nothing there but just pretty much darkness, although if it's bright in the room, I can still see a, a light through my eyelids. Not only do the physical things disappear, the things that were in front of me, everything else disappears. Which means that nothing that I can no longer see needs my attention. See, I have a shed in my garden, my recording studio. When I close my eyes, I'm sitting in this recording studio now, in this shed, I've got my eyes closed, the shed disappears, I can't see the shed, I don't need to see it, I don't need to think about it. But when I come to either wake up or open my eyes, you know, when I come to want to stand up and leave this shed, 
I'm going to need to open my eyes. In order to find my way out and to be not knocking stuff off onto the floor, which could cause damage, to, you know, a damaged tablet or something. Or I could get a splinter in my toe. Then I opened my eyes and, oh, the shed was here all along. But I didn't need to think of it. And I'm in bed. The bedroom furniture, the bed, the, well, it's pretty much only a bed and a little um, set of drawers. It's there. I don't think of the drawers, I don't think of the, the underpants or my socks inside the drawers. When I got my eyes closed. Because I just relax. Simply because I don't need to think about that stuff. It almost becomes not just invisible, but non existent. non-existent whilst I had my eyes closed which means I can relax deeply so going back to that bill electric bill sitting in the in the kitchen it's not sitting in a chair you know but it's, it's lying on the kitchen cabinet I'm talking about it like it's a thing like it's almost like laying there sunbathing but it's not well as far as I know it's not But it doesn't matter if it is, because that bill doesn't exist when I'm sitting here with my eyes closed or lying on my bed with my eyes closed. The bill, as well as everything else, doesn't exist while I have my eyes closed. And your mind starting to open up to this idea of being able to Completely, completely let go, completely let go. And it feels nice, really, really feel 
was nice to know that you can relax so easily relax so quickly and thoroughly As your mind drifts you realize that nothing else exists when your mind drifts nothing else exists when your mind drifts nothing else exists when Sí.